We're about to find out if these batteries get weak overnight or not. <laughs> it's not necessarily cold out. However, um, I don't know if this truck has like good newer batteries, if they're old or what. So we're about to find out. Well, so far so good. Started right up. What is up loud and proud crowd? Hopefully guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. So we're actually in the new project 12 out of the five speed. And oh my goodness, it is so fun to get back in the seat of one of these trucks and drive it every day. It is just, it's a blast. So anyways guys, hopefully you guys are doing awesome. Today we're gonna go over a couple of things. We're gonna go over why I bought this truck and kind of like what's the plan for it. This one's gonna be sticking around a little while and I actually really, really mean that. This one's going to be getting some work done and it's gonna be going through a complete customization transformation. It's gonna be nuts. However, there's just a lot of small things and quirky things about this truck that I kind of want to get dealt with right away and we're gonna get into that as well today. Before we leave, I wanna go show you guys one more thing. Really quick. For everybody that does not yet know, maybe you do already know, but you don't know the new information. Yes, this truck is up for grabs. Yes, this is a giveaway truck. Yes, there are only 10 days left to enter to win it. And guess what? Those double entries you guys all love are back. Yes, so every $5 is two entries to win this truck and this giveaway is ending rapidly. We have never given away a truck valued at $80,000 and this is our first and it could be yours. Information is in the description. It's as simple as going to lmpgear.com and every $5 spent on gear, whether it's hats, shirts, hoodies, keychains, lanyards, decals, whatever the case is, pick something up, whatever suits you, whatever fits your taste, check out and you're automatically entered with all the information you use on your order. So your name, email, phone number, all that stuff automatically gets entered to identify who the next winner for this beautiful truck is gonna be. Thank you guys so much. Let's get on to the video. And surprisingly with this truck, the e-brake does actually work. Like I'm very impressed. Not only that, but it drives good. It drives straight. The buckles work. The flipping cruise control works, dogs. It works flawlessly. Speakers are a little on the rough side or the or the not working side. We're gonna get on down the road here. We're gonna get over to the property and we're gonna go over a couple things that are gonna be going down with this truck. Okay, well, now we're good to go. I actually ended up hooking up the trailer to the truck here because I'm actually gonna be doing a little bit of work here before I start filming. Um, just because we got a little bit of stuff we gotta catch up on over at my parents' farm. They just need some stuff mowed that they can't get around to. So I voluntarily go over there and try to take care of some of that. Well, she did good. We got done pulling this trailer over to my parents' farm. So what's the plan for this truck? Cause I know there's gonna be some people that saw the comment that I left down under yesterday's video. And essentially what I said was, who's ready to see a Longhorn interior swapped second gen? And that pretty much simplifies the essence of what we're trying to do with this truck. Not every single thing about the truck is gonna be a Longhorn swap. But in terms of the interior, it's pretty obvious the truck needs some work. So here's what I was gonna do. The carpet needs to go. It was a work truck at some point or a farm truck or of something like that. Cause this is not rust coming through the carpet. If you look underneath, the floorboards are completely solid. It's not rust holes. What it is, is stains. Like it's literally just stained. It's just, it's just been worked. Same with the seats, same types of stains all over the seats, both sides. And I don't think it was a truck that was like necessarily like worked to death every day, but I do think it was definitely a work truck. Somebody got in it. They drove it around, around the farm, hauling gravity wagons or whatever. I don't know. I don't know the story but I think it came out of Pennsylvania. The truck was definitely not like highway driven nonstop in the salt and in the rain and all that crap. Maybe the rain, I don't know, but not the salt because the frame is in actually, again, I'll show you underneath, pretty darn good condition. It's got oxidation. It's got a little bit of a, you know, a rust flake here and there in certain spots where it's a little bit harder to get to to clean it, but not bad. There's no holes, there's no Swiss cheese stuff. But anyways, so all that aside, 
back to the main point of the video that we're talking about here, the interior. The interior is going to be getting a complete renovation. What's left of the headliner is getting stripped out, okay? That's getting stripped, and I was thinking like a brown vinyl on top, okay? To match the Longhorn seats. That's my next point. We're going to be doing Longhorn, fourth gen Longhorn seats on the inside of this truck. How I'm going to fit them, I don't know. But what I'm thinking about trying to do is at least seeing if I can basically use these brackets that are here, like the manual sliding bracket and stuff like that, and the platform at least, and the front and rear brackets, and basically fitting them and retrofitting them to the new style seats somehow. I'm, you know, I'll text Devin and give him a call, and he might help me with that too, because he's done a lot of like just different stuff that's just making it work type of deal. You know, get his take on it too. Um, we're definitely gonna make it happen though. Same with the center console. Center console is actually in really good shape other than, you know, some discoloration on the seat. But in terms of like rips and stuff, it's good. But we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna build a custom center console box. Now, what I mean by that is essentially what we're gonna do is take the whole center console out of this truck. And basically what we're gonna be doing is making a custom center console box to fit in this truck. And what that box is gonna do, it's gonna serve as an armrest, but what it's also gonna do is we're gonna cut it down about right here so it's not quite as long, but close. Go straight down, deep enough to where it's out of the way of the stick. And we're gonna have essentially a section about this wide and have three cup holders, that's the plan. And then it's gonna go down again, and then it's gonna go across the bottom on both sides between the four wheel drive and the manual um, stick there. And essentially this type of thing like this black leather we're gonna do with like a brown leather and basically the whole box and center console and armrests and like everything is gonna be brown leather wrapped to match the seats with the color code of the seats the brown interior and then same with the dash here this whole dash it's got a couple hairline cracks so what we might do is take this top cover off and essentially swap it out but what I'm gonna do is test fit you know some like brown vinyl again it's not going to be like you know authentic king ranch leather from texas or wherever the heck it comes from but my point is it's going to be like a brown vinyl like a cheaper brown for the for this kind of stuff here and match it to the seats of course like i said with the head you know headliner and stuff and then match it and fit it however you're supposed to do that to this top piece you see what i'm saying and out of the truck and then install it into the truck like that. That's kind of the you know essence of what we're trying to do with this truck. And like I said, with the flooring and with the flooring too being all stained up, we're gonna be swapping that out. And what I'm gonna do is probably just stay black with the flooring and just do a whole black vinyl flooring, not a carpeted flooring again, just because you see what happens to that over time. It just doesn't go well. So um, we wanna do vinyl with the flooring so it's easy to clean out, easy to maintain. In terms of the steering wheel, what I was thinking about doing Again, same brown vinyl or leather or something, maybe actual real leather for the steering wheel, but basically do a leather wrap on the steering wheel to basically match the interior of the truck. Clean that all up so you still have some black in the steering wheel, but for the most part, the wrap around the steering wheel, make that the Longhorn brown color as well. In terms of the interior, that's what you're looking at. This whole thing is gonna be getting gutted and redone. New sound system, new speakers, all that jazz. It needs, it, it just all needs to go. In terms of the moldings, I wanna strip those off. In terms of the hood, I was gonna go with like a cow hood that's not like an aggressive, like huge, you know what I'm saying, cow hood. Just something that's gradual, you know what I'm saying? It kinda of goes up from here, goes up to the windshield just slightly, just something to give it a little bit of that aftermarket aggressive vibe, but nothing that's just like insane and just stupid looking. Yes, there's gonna be custom lighting and grill and power stuff and all that jazz, but in terms of the main objective for what you're gonna see with the truck, those are gonna be like the main big things. In terms of paint, I wanna go a solid color and I'll leave it at that. It's not gonna be like exotic or crazy looking, but let's just say I wanna do a solid color. Leave your comments down below what you think I wanna do with that, or if it was your truck, what you would do with it. But I pretty much already have my mindset on a certain color. The main build of this truck in terms of, like I said, interior, some exterior stuff, like the main stuff that you guys are gonna notice and like visually see about the truck being different. Those are the big things. Well, I did just get done checking cameras and doing some mowing. As you can see, I mowed around the property a little bit, but I'm getting sick of this freaking thing hitting me in the head going down the road there much better
I just need a Phillips head screwdriver and two new taillight lenses and we can get these swapped out. This one's cracked down here and there and these aren't permanent again, but I do want to get them just swapped out so we don't bust the taillights. These ones are actually in really, really good shape. You can see how clean and nice these ones are. People always wonder why I keep some of this old crap, but you just never know. So again, look at this side. It is all broken, busted, and just not a fan of it. Not that this is gonna really change how the truck looks that much. I still wanna get these swapped out. Look at how such a simple thing can make the truck look so much different. Like even just the tail end not having busted out light makes this truck look, I wouldn't say great, <laughs> but just a little bit better and a little bit closer towards being something of an actual product. Thinking about taking this bumper off real quick as well. It's just rotted, nasty, and we don't need it on there. The hitch for the trailer will still be on there, but this bumper is just rusted out. I got my 19 millimeter socket, so time to rip this rusty, disgusting bumper off this truck. Well, I got the bumper off. That was pretty easy to do. It was just a few nuts and bolts. That's all it was. Now, this is probably the rustiest part of the entire truck. And it's just right back here by this hanger. And again, it's not rotted, completely gone. The hitch is actually in really good shape. It was probably put on um, later than the truck was made, possibly. I don't know. But back in here in the fenders and stuff, there's no serious rot or rust there's a little bit of surface starting but nothing bad but again this is probably the worst part of the whole truck if i'm gonna go with an off-road rear bumper i probably don't need the mounting hardware and if i really do i'll find new hardware but anyways let's get this truck fired up and moved out of the way brake off first gear If we can do 1,200 likes on this video, I will put these wheels and tires on that truck with the stock suspension. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Very minimal progress on the truck, but at least we could get a little something started for today. We have a lot more traveling coming up, but just want you guys to really understand and try to relate. Reagan and I travel a ton. We are always driving somewhere and doing something, so we try to stay as busy as we can, and that kind of is the reason why you don't see videos every single day like I used to post when I was single and had all kinds of free time. But well, we have a lot more going on now with the businesses and family and this and that and just tons of stuff going on. So anyways, guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys understand that. This truck is gonna be getting a huge transformation. We're about to get a huge shipment of things in for this truck and it's gonna look crazy. Also, stay tuned because the budget Chevy build is not done. We're not tossing that build. We already have all the parts and we're gonna finish it. So stay tuned for that. That video should be coming up next. You should see some more progress on the Chevy. Comment down below, what, what should we do with that truck when it's done? With the wheels, tires, suspension upgrades, all this jazz, when it's done with it, what should we do with it? It's kind of like a mud toy, but then again, it's still a really nice truck. It still runs and drives really good, other than a couple little rust spots on it. Let me know what you guys think we should do with that truck down in the comment section below. Don't forget to enter to win my 2019 Ram 3500 Limited every $5 two entries to win and you guys are running out of time to win that truck. Get entered while you can. Yeah, yeah.